good day and welcome to my channel investment university i'm here again your host dr mark mendoza explaining to you concepts of the stock market and investing in the simplest way in here we teach three things number why number one we have the disruption it is the pathway of opportunity number two data analysis it is the program of decision management and risk management and number three due diligence this is where we learn precautions and the dark sides of investment today let's go to due diligence in here we talk about tender offer okay now if you would like this video i would like you to like subscribe share show some love for this video Ano po yung tender offer? Pag nasa stock market po tayo, minsan babanggitin yan ang tender offer. Ang tender offer po, kung kayo po ay isang professional trader, investor, ay under corporate finance, which is part of the examinations of CFA, Certified Financial Analyst, this is a type of public takeover. So, ang purpose ng isang tender offer is a company, a public listed company, will have the purpose to be merged or acquired by a bigger company. Okay? So, mangyayari, may take over na mangyayari. Two years ago, I think three years ago, 2017, okay, this same date, October 31, Bloomberg TBPH interviewed Kalata Corporation Chairman, the golden boy of PSE, Joseph Kalata about the tender offer. Yung video na yan, I will share a link here. That's around 5 minutes video to know what I am talking about. Sinasabi niya doon regarding the tender offer na yung PSE was unfair for for that offer. Na una yung media malaman before malaman niya. And then he uh, uh, he discussed about hindi kaya ng company niya to make a tender offer, okay, with so many reasons listed, and as an alternative to tender offer, in offer, in offer niya, mag crossover um, financial instrument niya from PSE to the cryptocurrency, which is called coin. That makes it more confusing. So, if you are an investor of Kalata Corporations, okay, mabibigla ka sa mga statement. Yun, no so let it like, let me break it down for you no? uh, Joseph Kalata was considered to be the golden boy of PSE he is a billionaire because of Kalata Corporation and he became a billionaire because of the stock exchange now the Kalata Corp he was also one of the youngest billionaire in the country now to he, uh, Joseph Kalata is a alumni of uh, De La Salle University and I think uh, his bio says that he is a uh, graduate of financial institution, uh, financial management, major in financial institution. Uh, with all due respect, talagang masyadong mataas ang uh, hardcore ang knowledge niya sa investing. But... Uh, to talk about tender offer, I think there are some things that he missed about the points of tender offer and you should know. No? Uh, tender offer, uh, every company offers a liability. So investment has a reward opportunity as well as liability. What he doesn't know that a tender offer is a term that is firm and non-negotiable. No? All those companies under PSE na na who were offered no yung mga tender offer ganun ang eight factor test for a tender offer now this is not never is a political move that's just democratic process is happening and that's just business as usual now 
uh, the offer is has a specific limited time and on pressure to share okay a certain amount of share at a specific uh, uh, time so any CFA may understand this concept now the thing about it here the thing about it is the disruption that he is trying to provide as a solution to get that financial instrument from PSE and he will list his company as a, a convertible cal coin in some European exchange which is uh, quite impossible and uh, fast forward three years after okay 2017 nangyari ito fast forward hindi nga nangyari yun and it So I'm telling you this story to let investors know that the life of a corporation can end, even a public listed company. So what is the consequence after uh, or the aftermath of the Kalata Corporation? Uh, Joseph Kalata is being banned. Okay, uh, if you read that, is being banned to be a director of any PSE company. Uh, and uh, the Kalata coin was suspended. So this is under due diligence for anyone who would be an investor. Make sure no, that you invest your money properly. Come to think of it, no, from the golden boy of PSE IPO by 20, less than 10 years, nawala siya sa nawala siya sa uh, listing so you can just imagine kung how many people have or investor have lost their money in here no uh, if you happen also to understand the dynamics of uh, Duterte's rant on companies such as the oligarchs Ayala and MBP the cir circumstance is different, but it has affected the market dynamics. Actually, pumunta ito sa baba. And the response of uh, MBP then was simply uh, parang ang spirit ng message niya sa mga investor. If he wants this to be like this, then we have to have to prepare to go to war. So, ibig sabihin, Pag ang isang CEO nagsalita ng ganyan, he knows the value of his company, he knows the value of his financial instrument, and he knows which direction will it take even if the president or anyone who goes against the life of a company. It's a very interesting thing, Tin, no? uh, some other time. And uh, I would like also to mention uh, about Dan Bilzerian well Dan Bilzerian happens to be the king of Instagram and the playboy billionaire now he owns a company or his father owns a company uh, under the cannabis sector under Canadian stock exchange uh, the scandals and the lessons from the stock market we will learn from Dan Bilzerian. Uh, but uh, ang lesson dito din is when you are choosing a opportunity to invest and in wrong financial instrument na pili nyo by not understanding fundamentals, katulad niyon, pinili mo nga yung cannabis sector which is up by 50% ngayon and then uh, you would not know the workings of the boards, the chairman, and sino ang chan. Then uh, you might not really want to invest in such kind of company. So thank you for watching and uh, subscribe, like, and share. Maraming salamat. Happy Halloween.